Hello friends, welcome to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today's book... What do you think this book is about? Hmm? I'll give you a hint. Ah! It's called Bugs in My Hair! Oh no! Bugs that live in people's hair. It was written by David Shannon. Let's get started. Let's look at the title page. We'll see that here is the bug right here. And what are these right here? Suitcases. That means they're probably going to visit for a while. So, Bugs in My Hair by David Shannon and the bug with the suitcases on our title page. Two moms everywhere and their battle-tested anti-lice weapons. It happens. It happens. One day, my mom made a terrible discovery. Head lice! Look at mom's running away from the, the little boy. Oh no. It's a terrible discovery. There were bugs in my hair. And they were laying eggs. Look, there's the bugs hanging on to a hair. There's another hair, another bug. And these little things, eggs, they call them nits. This is a lice or a louse. And it says lice eggs are called nits. So now we know that these are lice or louse and the eggs are nits. Eee. My head really itched. Look at his face. Look at how he's scratching his head. He's trying to get the itch. Urgh. What in the heck were they doing up there? Well, can we see any lice or louse or eggs in his hair? Mm. I can't see him here. Hmm. But... Look, they're having a party up there. A lysa palooza. They're very active. And these are hairs. And look, they're moving around, and that's what's causing all that big itch in his hair. Dancing around, moving. And when they're there, they were actually feasting on my blood. Whoa, like Dracula. They drink the blood from the top of your head. Oh no. Oh, the shame. The humiliation. Everyone will know that I won't have any friends. Because look, the little boy thinks that everybody can see the bug. And look, they're looking at him and talking about him. So shame and humiliation means that you're, you're feeling pretty bad about it. You're, you're feeling like everybody is making fun of you. And, but it's not that big. Remember how tiny they were? And it says the actual size of a louse or a piece of lice is actually... The size of that little dot right there. Not like that. This is how it felt. But that's how it actually was. And louse is where the word lousy comes from. Not really, but that's how you feel. I wondered, how did I get lice? Um, from a hug? From wearing a hat? Maybe the sofa where he sat down? At school? 
at the movies from his dog? I found out a bunch of kids had them. They had, a lot of kids had lice. And relax, dogs don't get lice. So here they are in the classroom. What is everybody in the classroom doing? A little boy is sitting there looking around, but what is she doing? Hmm. And what is he doing? What is she doing? What is this child doing? Everybody scratching their head. What is this? Wait, wait a second. Who is that? <laughs> yeah, once one person has it, it's a chance more. It was hard for some to admit that they had lice, even to themselves. That's just dandruff. I think it's sand from the beach. It's probably ash from a volcano in Pogo Pogo. Hmm. So when it says it's, it might be dandruff, dandruff is just the natural skin that sometimes comes off of your, your head. Sometimes if you're wearing a dark color shirt, you'll see little white pieces right there. That's just um, your, your skin. It's dry, not lice. Other people thought they had lice even when they didn't. Just talking about bugs made my mom itchy. And her problem wasn't on top of her head. It was actually what she was thinking inside of her head. So, this bug is not inside of her head. It is just what she is thinking of all the time. It's like, I think there's bugs. I think there's bugs. If you think about it enough, it's going to bother you. I heard about lots of cures. Shaving my head. That means cutting all the hair off so it looks like this. Like this. See? I shaved the sides of my head. Not because I have lice, but just because I like how, how it looks. This one says, bomb the bugs with the strongest chemical known to mankind. Oh, that, that doesn't sound very comfortable. Mayonnaise. Like the kind you put on a sandwich. Put mayonnaise all over the head. I think that's going to work. They all sounded awful. Yuck. Lice are really hard to get rid of. And it looks like it takes over their whole life. Mom did laundry every day to keep the bugs from spreading. But... This is what it seemed like, that the bugs were just everywhere. There's mom taking all the laundry, but look, they could be in the couch, right? And look at the little boy. He just feels that the bugs are everywhere. If we didn't stop them, they might conquer the world. Bugzilla! Rawr. Think that's really going to happen? Oh. This was war. Look at mom. She's equipped with stinky stuff that lice hate. Eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, Things like that. They call them essential oils. So that's the oil that they're going to put on the head. Magnifying glasses. Because, remember how small they are? They're dinky. A knit comb. Knit, remember what a knit was? A knit was the egg. So you want to get rid of the louse and the egg. So this is going to help get rid of the bug. This is going to help get rid of the egg. And this is so they can see everything that they're doing. Because you don't want to miss anything. Mom read lots of books and magazines. And she armed herself with battle-tested anti-lice weapons. This is what you're going to need. One, two, three. For sure. The 
the party's over, little nasties. Oh, this is that brush, the knit comb. And they're dragging it through the hair. And look, it's capturing all the louse and the eggs, getting rid of it. They don't like it, but that's what you need to do. Finally, everything was laundered, treated, sprayed, combed, picked, cleaned. We went to a professional lice treatment place and I was pronounced bug free. I guess that's where they came up with the term knit picking. So picking out the little knits, dink, 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 one at a time. And when it says pronounced bug free, that means that the, the, the professional looked at it and said, I declare there are no bugs in your hair. Right? So it's a professional, so that means that it's true. Right? For the first time in forever, I got a good night's sleep. And then, what do you think happened? They're back. How did that happen? They did everything. And the professional said that he was bug free. So we went through the whole thing again. And now, at last, those awful, disgusting lice are completely gone. And this time, I'm not taking any chances. The end. The back of the book says, Warning, this book will make you itchy. Bugs in my hair. Did you scratch your head? Hmm? You can let me know. So friends, our book, Bugs in My Hair, it happens, it happens in school sometimes. So my question for you is, has this ever happened in your family? Right? Think about it. Talk to your family members. Uh, if it does happen, you can always say, hey, I remember teacher Julian read a book about bugs in my hair. And there's some ideas on how to get the bugs out of your hair. You can always ask your teacher. You can talk to a hair person and see, you know, what you could do to get rid of the bugs in your hair. All right, friends, that's all I have for you. I hope you didn't get too itchy. Until next time, I will say goodbye.